What's good? What's poppin' everybody? I hope you're all having a great day. Today we're talking about New World again. But real quick, I just want to take a second and really thank everyone who's been out showing support to the channel and my content. I've been enjoying making all this new content and trying new things. And I just wanted to tell each and every one of you that I greatly appreciate you. Your support means a lot. I hope I can bring, you know, you guys value and good content. I'm still learning and I'm pretty new to this. So sticking around through all of it, it's pretty incredible. So I just wanted to thank you guys for that. It means a lot. Now that I've confessed my love to you all, let's uh, talk about New World. This time I'm talking about Town Board quests. Some people love them. Some people hate them. Are they still good after the XP nerfs? And if so, which ones are worth doing? which ones aren't. I'm going to be breaking them down into categories, giving you guys my thoughts and opinions. If you guys are liking this kind of video, make sure you hit a thumbs up. It really does help with the YouTube algorithm. Let's me know you guys are enjoying this kind of content. If you guys are enjoying your time here, why not toss the subscribe button? With that being said, guys, let's get into it. All right, so like I said, we're going to be talking about town board quests today. And I'm happy to say that despite the nerfs quests got in the last patch, they're still a pretty great source of XP. I think we can all agree that originally the town board quest gave way too much XP. Now, even though the quest can still provide good XP, not all of them are created equal. There are some major ones that you should avoid at all costs. And I'm talking like swerve, bitch. But that being said, there are still some great ones. I would recommend that the bad ones you hear in this video, I would try to filter them out of your town board quests, meaning, you know, accept them and then give up on them and try to get the best bang for your buck ones. That being said, let's get right into it. So I think the first category is going to be the weapon and armor smithing missions. I would take every single one of these every single time, every time. They usually require a very small amount of materials, like, you know, iron, silver, whatever, and give great XP. They give one of, if not the best, return on investments or ROI, and invest being your time and your XP. Like, I can't stress this enough. Every one I would get, I would grab it like it's a last look roll on Thanksgiving dinner, y'all. Like, it's, they're the best to do, one of, if not the best, and I would grab them every single time. The next category I wanted to bring up were the fetch missions. You know, an example like going over here and collecting this from a particular place. Don't fall for these. <laughs> more times than not, they're a trap. They take so much more time to complete compared to others. And the XP is not worth the time investment. I would only recommend taking these on really early on a place that you're going to already have to be at. So if you're doing a main story quest or something like that, and it happens to be in that area, maybe I would take it. But 99% of the time, I would avoid these. Unless you're a person that enjoys walking, in which case I want to talk to you there's a problem there. Um, but yeah, overall fetch missions, probably not the best source to go into it. Moving right along, uh, the second category is going to be animal and like animal retrieval missions, you know, like killing turkeys or collecting feathers from turkeys, killing deer and boar, etc. These generally also should be avoided. They typically don't give enough XP for the time investment. Remember, in the real world, it's a huge time sink. So ROI, return on investment, is pretty important, especially early on. The only scenarios I would take these kind of missions is if I'm really, really shit out of luck and my, you know, my town board quests are just really, really dry and I'm not getting anything. And only because they can be completed globally, uh, meaning, you know, if I get them in, say, Windsward, I could go up to Everfall or somewhere else and I could still get experience or get tracked on for completing the mission by killing turkeys or something. They're global. You can kill them anytime. But even then, you have to go back to your town to turn in the quest. So again, it's another example of terrible ROI. Now, the last thing I wanted to say before we moved on is when it comes to these kind of missions, and I mean no means, like none at all, should you ever, ever, ever take a motherfucking sheep mission? I think we can all agree that sheep missions are terrible. You can spend an hour trying to find a sheep and you can't even find one. The mission requires you to find like five and you can't even find one. I would never, ever take one of these. Uh, if you do, you probably hate yourself. Like I'm saying right now that if I had the option between setting my PC on fire, right? Shaving my head and I don't know, losing a pinky toe or taking a sheep mission, I would be a PC-less, bald, pinky toe-less man. And I'd be okay with that because I didn't have to find a fucking sheep. I hate sheep. Stay with them at all costs. They are very bad. I know, I'm sorry, I had to do it. Anyway, <laughs> moving right along, end of the rant. Uh, third category is gonna be fishing quests. And I'm gonna be honest, you know, I love fishing in most games and New World is no exception. It's calming, it's nice, though I, it's a weird, you know, interaction when you're kind of like in the water, not swimming and your head submerged, but you can breathe and fish. Another topic for another video. But the fishing missions are pretty, pretty atrocious in the game. They require you to get like 20 salmon oil and it takes you like 20 minutes to finally catch one salmon. Then you're gonna salvage that salmon and you're only gonna get two to four oil when you need 20. Again, it sucks. I love the fish. Um, 
and I really hope they boost the XP or reduce the amount you required for the missions. But right now, I would really avoid them. Uh, they're probably one of the worst ROIs after sheep quests, of course. The only redeeming factor is that excess bait you can get from just doing other things. And you can turn those in for a little bit of XP. But overall, fishing missions sadly just aren't the biz. Okay, the fourth category is going into mining and smelting. I'm also going to throw in stone and stone cutting in here. So here's the thing. Mining is in New World is something that I recommend everyone to do. Like we talked about in weapon and armor smithing, metals are required and iron probably being the biggest contender of this all. Uh, that being said, I think mining missions are a terrible, terrible trap. There are only smelting missions. There's no raw material. Just turn in iron. You have to smelt them down and they require so many raw materials so that by the end of it, you're just satch, just straight up. You're just satch. So I would instead recommend keeping them and using them for armor weapon smithing that give you back way more ROI. Now, as much as mining is like a feels bad, basic stone gathering isn't. Basic stone gathering is a quick and easy way to get a, some decent XP, but I would only go so far. Once you hit lodestone, I would probably, not probably, I would stop. Uh, lodestone is worth so much more with uh, tuning orbs. But before that, stone is a decent little XP filler. Flint is also another one that is super easy to gather and turn in for a quick little XP. Flint is used in many other things, so you might already have it with you when you go to a town board and see that there's a quest for it. Okay, so stick with me here. We're, we're about halfway through, I'd say. If you've made it down this far, just let me know in the comments down below. I know there's a lot of info here, and I don't blame you if your brain hurts. Mine definitely does. But moving along, so the next one up is skinning. Now, skinning is, I would say, almost on par with armor and weapon smithing. It gives a tremendous amount of XP all, already. And add in the fact that you can get missions for the skinning, it's, it's one of the best missions you can take. And not only that, but skinning is also one of the only professions that give you extras like eyeballs and meats and stuff. So you can use that for other missions or crafting. Overall, skinning is probably one of the best missions you can take. Super easy. It's overall just probably one of the better ones to take. Next one being up after skinning is going to be the harvesting and weaving. Another banger of a mission set. They are super easy to gather and give great XP. And not only that, but with weaving, you're able to use it in weapon or armor smithing, which like we talked about earlier, is probably one of the best set of missions. Uh, if you're kind of seeing a trend, uh, it's that gathering professions like mining, skinning and harvesting, and even wood cutting, which we're about to cover, all offer some way to get the best bang for your buck through missions. Now the mining, like I said, I talked about earlier, it's good for the weapon armor smithing, not the mining missions themselves. But the gathering professions seem to have a really good wide array for missions. Wood cutting is up next. It's another solid one. I'd relate it to stone, like we talked about, where it's really easy to gather, but it's only good up to a certain point. Once you get afterwards, it's not that where lodestone to stone is, you know, lodestone is worth more later for tuning orbs. Wood just after a certain point is just not worth it anymore, in my opinion. It's not, it doesn't give the best bang for your buck after a certain point. Once you get up to, you know, I think where wood is even one, stuff like that. Those, it just requires way too much and better use of your time elsewhere. All right, we're getting, we're getting there, guys. Uh, the next one that's going to be up is going to be food related missions. Now, these offer a really weird mix of missions. Some of them are pretty good and some of them aren't. Uh, starting with the standard rations. So, you know, like light and travel rations. These are great and you are already going to be having a lot of these in your inventory anyway, as they are you know, some of the very few ways you can't heal yourself in the game other than like weapon perks and stuff. Everyone's always going to have rations on them. And so whether or not you want to focus on, you know, farming out, getting light rations or just having them through the fact that you're playing the game, they're offer great XP and they're really easy to do and they're not hard to get the materials to craft. But other than the rations, uh, the only ones I'd really recommend are maybe the meat related ones. They give a little bit better XP. The other ones aren't really worth it. You know, the other kinds of blueberries and strawberries and stuff like that, those, they're way too much time investment for not enough XP. Overall, food related missions have a mixture one. So there are some good ones, but you're gonna have to do a little bit more filtering yourself to find the good ones. Uh, so I think that brings us to the last one. And if I missed any, I definitely might've. Uh, let me know down below. I've kind of forgotten what I said four minutes ago. So I don't really, I think we got them all though. Anyway, the last one is gonna be the Arcana missions. These are also pretty solid ones, kind of like food, but only some of them. The ones that are really good to do are the health and mana potions, the weak ones, the very first tier one ones, they're super easy to make. Like you require two materials. And I think for mana potions it requires you to go pick some regular bushes and get water, which if you go to some towns, there's water in the town. 
and you can just get it for free it's it's so easy and overall they're they're really good xp for not a lot of time investment now past that once we get to the common they're not really worth it they require for some reason way more materials to create and way more time investment so overall i probably wouldn't recommend going anything past that but the weak uh, health and mana potions are, are great and honestly you're just like the rations you're also just going to be having these uh, like on you during the game all right i think that's it i think we've wrapped them all up i think that's going to do it um if you're still here thank you so much for listening and hopefully you found some of this insightful and useful let me know down below uh what missions you guys are going to be trying out when the game launches let me know if you disagree with anything that I've said. Uh, if you did enjoy this, make sure to hit that thumbs up. It really does help out with the YouTube algorithm and lets me know that you enjoy this kind of content. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I'll be covering much more Lunar World as it comes out. This game I'm super hyped on and it's kind of the only thing in my eyes right now, but I do plan on making other content for other games too. And if you guys have any games that you want me to cover or make content on, just let me know down below. With that being said, guys, I wanted to give another huge thank you to everyone. The support has been great, and I appreciate you guys all. Thank you so much. I, From the bottom of my heart, I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day. Much love, and until next time, take it easy.